Ahoy sailors, welcome aboard. Today we're doing a one-piece deck profile featuring Majolan, the head jailer. And yeah, it's uh, the second deck profile on the channel, so same deck list as the first time, but yeah, we're just going to get right into it. Anyway, we got Majolan, who uh, every time you minus one Dawn, he gets 1,000 power. And that's basically what purple does, right? So obviously it ends up kind of working out for him. And yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the leader anyway. And then we have Hannibal, who searches Impel down characters. And uh, we run him at four, because consistency is always preferred, obviously. And yeah, we run a lot. Like, you wouldn't even run a lot of these Han Impel down characters without Hannibal in the deck. So, yeah. We run Domino, only at one copy. Specifically because she's here for consistency and she's a blocker. And yeah, just to be able to search without whiffing with Hannibal is pretty huge. Next we have Heat. A very powerful card. This card is newly added to the game from ST10, and it is a powerful card. Basically, it's the same as your leader card. Every time you minus one Dawn, he gets uh, 2,000 power, and it, it's huge. It's just huge. Like, he becomes a 6k until your next turn, so the entire time of your opponent's turn, he's a 6k as well. And then you just minus one Dawn again with the card effect, and boost him up to 6k. Very strong card. Definite four of at the moment. Next we have Little Sadie. She is a 2k counter that is searchable because she is impel down. And uh, yeah, just being a 2k counter is reason enough to run her. On play, you can play one Jailer Beast from your hand. Now you don't really use that too often. Like the only times you're ever going to use it are like if you don't draw Heat or Verino. And even then, it's kind of an iffy play. And speaking of Verino, here he is. He's one of the two Jailer Beasts that we're running in here. He has a 3 cost 5k, which is a vanilla stat baseline, which is very nice. And his effect is when he's destroyed, as long as you have Majolan as your leader, as he's the only uh, impel down leader you can run to activate this ability. You draw two and trash one from your hand, which is super strong. Queen has the same ability, only it's on play. And it's, yeah, Queen's super strong, right? Everyone knows Queen's necessary in a purple deck. There's not any good replacements. Next we have Minnow Koala, which is a blocker, and yeah, a Jailer Beast, Impel Down, searchable, just like Rhino, and yeah, it can be played off of Sadie. Now this guy's a 4 cost, 5k, and he's a blocker, and every time, or whenever he's KO'd, you add one Dawn from your Dawn deck and rest it. But like, it's good because uh, earlier in the game, you just want to attack and apply pressure with him, but later in the game, you, like, He's a blocker. Like it's just the versatility. That is the reason why I prefer this guy over the zebra currently. Zebra's really good. I'll get into that later though with uh, the potential cards that I recommend if you're looking to run different cards. But yeah, Walla, very good, very good. Next we have Khalifa. Now Khalifa is a 2k counter. That's like the whole reason you're on her. But she has an ability when attacking minus one. You draw two cards, trash one. You almost never play her, unless you have nothing to play, so, uh, like, yeah. She, she's just a 2k counter in most scenarios, but, like, it's not bad, right? Next we have the big man himself, Majolan. So, uh, yeah, we got, uh, four copies of him. He is 100% necessary in this deck, just like Hanyobol, because you want to play this guy as much as possible. This guy will shut down the biggest decks in the game, he'll shut down that 10 cost Dofi play, he'll shut down the 10 drop Big Mom, Oh yeah, by the way, this deck destroys Katakuri. Like, if, if you don't like seeing Katakuri, then bring this to your locals. Like, this is good stuff. But yeah, being able to unramp a Dawn, boost your leader, boost your heat, like, just very good. Next we have Queen, who is a blocker, 5 cost 6k, 1k counter. And, uh, yeah, uh, he's an Animal Kingdom pirate, so you can't search him. Uh, oh yeah, I guess I didn't elaborate, but yeah, uh, he, he, he's queen, like, he's queen. You, you run him at four in, like, 90% of purple decks. There's, like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Like, just being able to draw two trash one on play while boosting your leader, enough said. Next is x -Drake. x -Drake just came back in. Like, this card is huge, because uh, you make your opponent's trash cards from their hand. Now, now it's their choice, uh, but, yeah. Like, normally, you don't even use that. You just use it if your opponent's, like, low on hands or, or cards in hand, or, like, you're going for game or something. But yeah, he's a 2k counter in other scenarios, which is good enough. Next, we have King. 
King, you could arguably run this guy at four copies, honestly. Like, King's just, he's too good. He's a, yeah. So, so you minus one Dawn and you pop a four or lower. Like, that's, it's good. Like, you can pop Green Nami, you can pop any, like, yellow card that plays off of Trigger. Like, it's, it's good. Yeah. King, baby. Next we have Kid. Now, Kid, a lot of people just choose to revolve their decks around this guy. I don't really recommend it. Uh, like, I mean, he's a good enough card to justify it. It's just, once he's removed from a board, it feels like the game's almost over. And he's not super hard to remove from a board because he's only 8k power. He has no counter, unfortunately. But this is a part of, yeah, part of a game. Yeah, but uh, when when he's played or when he's attacking, you can minus one Dawn and your leader gains 1k power until your next turn. So the reason why this is huge is because your leader will also get 1k power because you're minusing one Dawn. And then this 1k power boosts him to 7k power. But like, this 1k lasts until your next turn. So your leader is at 6k power until that point, which is very powerful. And... Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, yeah, and then we got Kaido, of course. Now, if I was going to put in four kings, I'd probably take out these Kaidos. But Kaido is very, very good, because you minus five Dawn, and then you KO a six or less, and then he gets Rush. Or, I mean, you don't have to KO a six or less for him to get Rush, but, I mean, normally that's what you play on four, right? But yeah, Kaido, he'll get rid of Queen. Enough said, right? <laughs> We're going to be seeing a lot of Queen soon in the next meta. And uh, yeah, this is a late video, by the way. Apologies. We posted this a while ago. And we got Jet Gatling. Uh, this is trash one card from your hand. It's one of your leaders or characters. Gain 3,000 power for this battle. And uh, yeah, that, that's just good because you have... Uh, I believe we're running 13 or 14 cards without... Um, a natural counter, like a counter that doesn't require Dawn. So being able to trash them to get 3k power is just really big. And then we got Judgment of Hell. Now, uh, yeah, this is a two cost, minus one, give two of your opponents minus 3k power. And um, yeah, I mean, Judgment of Hell is just super good. Oh yeah, I uh, forgot to mention. Also, if you uh, get this from your... Uh, life, the trigger will allow you to minus one Dawn from your opponent, uh, I mean, if they have six or more. I mean, it's not a great effect, but like, it can throw off decks that require having high Dawn. And then we got Thunder Bagua. Now this one is a two cost, and uh, if you have two or less life, it will give you one Dawn uh, rested along with 4k power. But like, if you're not two or less life, it won't give you the extra dawn. But like, this is important for the fact that it gives you plus 4k. Because a lot of the times people are expecting you to play this, or they're expecting you to use uh, this, right? And these are both plus 3k. But like, just having this will throw your opponent off, and they'll swing like 3k over to get a kill, or like, to get a life off of you. And be surprised by a Bagua, and they might ramp you up, preparing you for a Kaido next turn, you know. But yeah, that's basically it. Anyway, I'm going to show up a full deck list. So here is the entire deck list. Now, as you see, we are running, I believe, 19 Impel Downs, specifically for searching with Hanyable. And uh, yeah, that's very important, because whiffing sucks, and it often will lose you a game. Like, any target can save you, so... Very important. Anyway, we're going to go into potential uh, replacements for cards. Cards that I'd consider personally good in here. But I just choose not to run them personally. So first of all, we got Minnow Zebra. Very, very good card. So basically, it's the same as the Koala, only he's not a blocker. He is a banisher. So if his attack goes through on your opponent's life, they trash that life. They don't get it in their hand. And it does not trigger. So like... Yeah, it's just big. Like, n normally the strategy is to go put two Dawn on him, swing seven at lead, and have your opponent just trash two cards. And then you just let it go the next turn, because he also allows you to ramp up. And he has a counter, unlike the Rhino. But uh, yeah, most people, they choose between this guy, the Rhino, and the Koala. 
and yeah, for good reason, really. Like, it's just a very strong card. Uh, some people, I mean, no, what am I saying? No one runs the Minotaur anymore. Poor Minotaur. He's in love now. After, you know. These are the Minnow cards. Like, Minotaur is like the card that the name originates from, and it sucks, but whatever. And then we got Law. So, Law is good, especially into the Dofi matchup. Dofi can be a little rough sometimes, depending uh, on if your opponent pulls all their searchers. But uh, Law, yeah, but basically, uh, you can. He's a blocker, and he has a counter, which is always, always good. 4 5. But you can minus 1, and if your opponent has 7 or more cards in your hand, you, you trash 2. And you get to choose which one, so your opponent has to shuffle them, which is like whatever, random cards, but. It's a powerful card, and it can win you games. And I was in a Treasure Cup recently, and there was one game where I really wish I had this card, but it was a really close game against Dofi anyway, so I'm not gonna sweat it. Oh yeah, I guess I should have mentioned that this was my Treasure Cup deck. I want 6 free with, but whatever. <laughs> and then we got Pally. Um, this guy, like, I don't know how good he, tr like, he's cool, he's cool. Like, he could arguably replace King with him, but basically, he's the same thing as a king, only he costs 2 dawn on play. So you need to have 7 dawn in order to use his effect, but he'll destroy a 4 or lower. And uh, you got 1 dawn. So, yeah, it's only if you have 8 or more dawn cards on your field. I mean, that's the thing. Like, if you play him when you have 5 dawn, there's no point. Like, he's just a dead card. Yeah, but play him at your own risk. This card's going to get pretty valuable soon. It's already rising up pretty quickly, so... Yeah, get them while you can. And Miss All Sunday, of course. Now, Miss All Sunday is a trigger that allows you to play her from your uh, deck if you minus two, or uh, from your uh, trigger pile if you minus two. And she can add one Dawn card from your Dawn deck and rest it. And if you have six or more on your field, draw one card. So basically, if you're playing her from your hand, you're always activating her on play. And it's nice because you're getting an extra card out of it. And yeah, it's Miss All Sunday, so that's cool. But personally, uh, I prefer my current build. It's is it's not as good as it gets, but it's as good as it gets for me, based on my playstyle. And uh, yeah, I definitely recommend getting out there and playing some Modulon while you still can. There's only like a week and a half left of this meta, so uh, yeah, that does it for this one. And I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.